Now we're going to look at how to complete the square with a non-monic trinomial, that is a trinomial that has a lead coefficient that is not 1. So we're going to consider the expression 2x squared plus 8x plus 20. Now you'll notice that there are two square x's and that there are 8 x bars and then 20 units. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the x squareds and the x's and divide them, in this case in half, so that we have two sets of x squared plus 4x's. We're going to turn each of those into a square with a notch. And now we will have to take not four units to complete one of the squares, but we have to take a total of eight units. We have to complete both squares. And now we are left with two x plus two squares plus 12 left over. And that's the geometric model. Now let's just take a look at some examples and how to actually complete the square algebraically. So what we did was we took the polynomial 2x squared plus 8x plus 20. We grouped the x and x squared terms. And then we factored out the lead coefficient. And it's always going to be whatever the lead coefficient is, in this case 2, to create 2 times x squared plus 4x, in this case, plus a blank space. Then you'll notice on the right it's 20 minus 2, that lead coefficient, times whatever we put in that blank space. Remember on the model that when we split the 2x squared plus 8x into two parts, we needed to fill in two squares. So this time we're filling in two copies of x squared plus 4x. Now we're going to complete the square inside by adding 4 and outside we're going to subtract 2 times 4. Now we factor that perfect square trinomial and simplify the constant term. So now when we've completed the square on 2x squared plus 8x plus 20 the final result is 2 times x plus 2 squared plus 12. Let's take a look at another example. We'll take 6x squared plus 36x minus 2. We'll group the x squared and x terms, open up a space, or rather factor out the lead coefficient from the x squared and x terms, and leave that open space to complete the square. You'll notice that when we factor 6 out of 6x squared plus 36x, we're left with 6 times x squared plus 6x plus that empty space and when we subtract what's in that empty space we have to subtract 6 copies of that because that's how many squares we're going to be completing. We complete the square inside with 9, that's half of 6 squared and on the outside we subtract 6 times 9 or 54. We now factor and simplify. And this is our result. Now I'd like you to try this example. 4x squared plus 32x plus 1. Stop the video, give it a try, and restart when you're ready to see the answer. Okay, so as before, we'll group the x squared and x terms. We'll factor out that lead coefficient of 4 and then open up that empty space inside and remember to subtract four times whatever we put into that empty space. We complete the square. It's going to be half of 8 squared is 16. So we're going to add 16 inside the parentheses and take away 4 times 16 outside. We'll now factor that trinomial into x plus 4 squared and then simplify the constant term and there's our result. Let's do another one with some negatives and a non-integer completion of the square. 
I'll have you work through this first, stop the video, and restart it when you're ready to see the answer. Okay, we'll group the x and x squared terms, factor out that lead coefficient, and now what completes the square? Half of negative 5 is negative 2 and a half, squared is 6 and a quarter, so that's what's going to complete the square, 6 and a quarter or 25 fourths. Inside we add, outside we take away 2 times 25 fourths. We factor that trinomial is, as a perfect square into 2 times x minus 5 halves squared, and then simplify the constant term. And one last example, we're going to take a look at what happens when we have a lead coefficient that is negative. As before, we group the x, and x squared and x terms. This time we're going to factor out that negative 16. We're going to make the coefficient of x squared 1 inside the parentheses. We're going to factor out a negative 16, which leaves us with x squared minus 6x. Notice on the right side we're going to subtract negative 16 times what we put in that blank space. We're going to complete the square. Half of negative 6 is negative 3. Squared is 9. So we add 9 inside the parentheses and we subtract negative 16 times 9 outside the parentheses. We're going to factor and notice that subtracting negative 16 times 9 simplifies to adding 16 times 9 which is 144 and now simplify the constant term and this ends the series of videos on completing the square